Lizzie Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, of course, we got the Master Sword by climbing on top of the Dragon of Light. You can see there, it was probably one of the most dramatic episodes so far, so definitely go check that out. But now we have landed at the Temple of Time. I really don't know if there's anything to do here, but it really does look like there's a faint glow at the top of it, almost. You sort of see it, I don't know. We're gonna try to go check it out. Maybe there won't be anything here. Of course, this is where we originally sent the Master Sword back in time so that Zelda could fix it up. But I don't know if there'll be anything more to do here. If there's not, I figured we would go back to Pura at Lookout Landing and sort of recoup a little bit, sort of find out what we have to do next because I feel like the game sort of has to sort of drop this off. Besides going into the depths and figuring some stuff out there, I'm a little clueless on what there is to do next. We do have this little shrine we can pray out if we wanted to. I don't know if we have enough orbs right now to get an upgrade, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. Oh, we have nine, so yeah, we can get, I think I'll just do one heart container and one stamina vessel. Uh, we had just enough stamina to actually achieve the, the you know, the, the challenge of getting the Master Sword last episode. So I definitely want to, up that stamina a little bit, make it a little bit easier to get around to. It's definitely a benefit, but there's our heart container. And with it, I think this will be our second row of hearts, right? It will be, very cool. All right then, so we have four lights of blessings. Let's go ahead and upgrade our stamina vessel. So we now have, you know, two rows of hearts, technically. We also have more than two wheels of stamina. Things are really starting to pick up in that way. Always exciting to see. More of that gloom dispelled within us. And with it, another stamina vessel. All right, looking pretty good. So we gotta go and bring peace to the world. That's exactly what I aim to do. So it doesn't look like there's really anything else around here. The Temple of Time is weirdly small, but I figured if we could get up there and get to the top of it, that's what I'm really curious about at the moment. So I'm just looking to see if there's anywhere I can like zip up. Right here, okay. Let's see if we can't just get to the top of it. Maybe there'll be something cool up here. Maybe there'll be nothing at all. Last time we were here, there really wasn't much. All right, we're here. Oh, hey, you weren't here before. What are you up to? I've been waiting. Whoa, what is this? I've been waiting for you. My purpose is to conduct a ceremony to test the strength of any visitors. Those who pass are told the story of the great Sky Island. I sense you are qualified to attempt the ceremony. Please inform me when you are prepared to begin. The legend of the great Sky Island, a side adventure. Whoa. You followed the column of light to the roof of the temple and found, or the temple of time, and found a steward construct there. The construct is conducting a ceremonial trial meant to test visitors. Talk to the construct when you are ready to try completing the ceremony. Sure, why not? So I'm as ready as I'll ever be, I suppose. Are you ready to attempt the ceremony so that you may hear the story? Yes, I'm ready. Very well, I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. You must light the three fires on this island and then return here within the time limit. You have 12 hours, I'm guessing in-game hours. The sounding of the time bell will signal at the start of the ceremony. It will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. There will be a delay before the ceremony can begin. Please wait here until the time bell tomorrow morning. We can start then. Is that acceptable? Sounds good. Understood. Huh, interesting. Let us wait for the islands to rise precisely at the time of the 7 a.m. time bell. Huh, I'm a little confused on how this goes on. Couldn't I just like travel to the shrines and stuff? But I don't know, maybe not. Whoa. Whoa. What is that noise? Thank you for waiting. The time has come. Want to hear an explanation of the ceremony? Let's hear it. Very well, I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. Light the three fires, then return here before the next time bell rings, 12 hours from now. But you must not set foot on any surface other than the roof of this temple during the ceremony. You have 12 hours. The sound, sounding of the time bell will signal at the start of the ceremony. It will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. It is now time for the ceremony to begin. I'm a little confused, but let's read the update here. 
The construct ceremony has begun. Light all the bonfires on the island without setting foot on any ground except for the top of the temple. Complete this before the bell rings at 7 p.m. There are three bonfires left. So I'm thinking what we'll have to do is swim up those waterfalls around there. I don't know if I have enough food to restore my stamina properly, uh, but I do have some, it just doesn't do too much. I mean, this one, energizing a seafood rice boss might be my best bet. So maybe I should make some more food real quick. If I could just uh, get a fire out here. Here we go, take that advice. Maybe I'll take out two of them just to make two things. Um, and let's see for ourselves here. Uh, I just need to go by, I think type would be best. I'm looking for stamina restoration. So stamella shroom. Let's just do four or five of these. What happens if I just cook them all at once like this? Maybe that'd make like something super restorative. It does do, you know, a bar and a half of it, which isn't so bad. But I think we could probably go for more. I mean, we probably have stand bulbs somewhere, right? Uh, where would they be? Right here, stand bulb. So let's do something like that and then cook it with some Highland tomatoes and see if that does make anything good. Just one bar, but I mean, it's something. Okay, talking to you again. Yes, does something trouble you? Uh, nothing, I'll get going. I pray you are successful. Okay, so if I understand this correctly, the best thing to do would just be to fly over. Do I not have Tulin's help? I guess I don't. So the first fire thing is right over there. I think I can swim up these waterfalls. If so, that'd be great. I mean, this is sort of a crucial element of it, it seems. Okay, can I swim up this? Yes, I can, perfect. That's gonna be sort of the game-changing element then. So I have 12 hours. It's 7.35 a.m., so we've already had a half an hour go by. Um, you can see the time on the bottom right. But let's go ahead and do this. Change the bow to something maybe like this, so I have a higher chance of hitting it. And then I switch over to the fire fruit. There we go. So I get an update there. The concert ceremony has begun. Um, there are two bonfires left. So if that's where things get a little bit scary, but if I fly way up here, and I take a look at the map. Which one is closer? It looks like this one to the left is a bit closer. So I just have to continually utilize all of these uh, waterfalls as much as possible and really use my stamina restoration whenever I can. This is a pretty cool little quest though, for sure. Um, I do want to hear the story of the Great Sky Island. I don't know if that'll have like a cutscene, but seeing how we found all the memories, I'm a little doubtful. Okay, so doing that actually restores our stamina, so maybe I'm over worrying about it, but there it is right there. So if I could just get over to this and then fly over, might be our best bet. A little bit chilly over this way. I think we'll be all right for just a few moments though, because then I'm heading back over. Well, I can move a little bit on the, uh, Way up, I didn't realize that before. Okay, so same deal, fire fruit, launch it about there. Ooh, I definitely need to get closer, hold on. Maybe about here? Come on, oh, not quite, not quite. So one more time, right there. That's gonna do it. So we have one more left to get. I might wanna head back in this direction and this continue over that way. I just want to get here to reset a little bit because we have plenty of time. It's really just stamina and positioning that I'm mostly worried about. So if I could just do that for now, seems like a pretty good move. And we're just heading over in that direction. I can't tell exactly at the moment where it is, but as we get closer, I'm sure it'll be more obvious. But uh, yeah, time-wise, we've only done two hours. We have 10 hours in game to get to the next one. Okay, almost there. I will go way, way up. And I just have to make sure I'm going towards another waterfall, which seems like the next one is gonna be that one way over in the distance. I'm just a little bit worried it might be up there, which if it is, still going up to that waterfall will be our best bet. So I'm almost there. We don't have Tulin or any of the other spirits to help us right now, it seems. So this is my best bet. But it's somewhere over there. Once again, I don't quite see it. It might be above our head. It might be on that island specifically. Sort of starting to look like that's gonna be the case. So. I don't see it, that's not it, is it? No, I don't think it is. Okay, so let's get over to this waterfall, just like this. We're on our way up again. Yeah, I think it's gonna be above all of this. Up here, there it is. Okay, so if we just can get launched by this one, just like that, we should be good to get over there. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally land on anything. Well, I wonder if there's a Korok seed over there, around that tree. 
Probably, if I had to guess. Okay, go for it. Just like that, and there we go. Now what do we do? I gotta get back over there, don't forget. Be sure to return within the time limit and without get, setting foot on the ground. Okay, don't wanna get too excited and drop down. That would fail the quest and make me very sad. So I just need to go way back up here. So now we're a slightly more strapped for time, but we started at 7 a.m. If it was 12 hours, that means we have until 7 p.m. So we still have a lot of time to make our way back. The only problem is, how do we wanna do that? Um. I think, yeah, making your way this way might be the safer bet, all things considered. So that's exactly what we'll, sh we'll, we'll do. We'll, we'll fly over here and just sort of, you can tell the path we can make back. Okay, almost at this waterfall. Once we get to this one, actually, I might just wanna get over to this one for now, seeing how I can almost reach it already. We'll get to this one, fly over there, and just slowly return. Very involved quest to start things off with today. I didn't know what there was gonna be up there. I thought it was gonna be like a big fight or something, but I guess not quite yet. Maybe at some point we'll run into something ferocious up here in the Sky Island. But hearing the history of this place will be also very, very interesting. I'm gonna try to make my way to that one right there. I don't know if we'll quite make it, but you can see, I mean, I'm a little bit worried about how we set foot on top of it now considering just like the angling and everything, but I guess that waterfall right there is gonna be our best bet. Which it goes pretty far down, so we should have the opportunity to reach it. I'm just trying to chart out a path while we have the opportunity. I think I could actually just fly over to this one. Get up there, get to that one, and go to there. All right, we're almost at noon, which means we are five hours into our allotted amount of time. Pretty intense. It's always these last few little bits that can be the scariest. So we don't get all of our stamina back at once, but it's enough to fly over to here. Just a little bit more. It is sort of, I hesitate to say nostalgic because it was only a few months ago, but you know, it is still fun to revisit these areas seeing how this is where we first explored the game in the first few episodes, just getting introduced to Tears of the Kingdom after the very many years long wait. So it's fun that you know, see it again. Okay, let's not overcomplicate this. We will just land right here, and then we should be able to fly over with this one. Okay, there we go. We're almost there. I think we can make it. I wanna try to land right next to them just to be sure. Here we go, the Temple of Time, and boom, we made it! Well done, you've proven yourself capable. I'm glad. So that's definitely something you probably can't do without the uh, the Zora armor. I will now tell you the story of the Great Sky Island, as promised. The Temple of Time and the land it sits upon were once found on the surface of the world. This has changed. Its land and the sky land surrounding it now float in the sky. There's a reason for this. The hero who will defeat the Demon King will one day awaken at this very site, which is us, and we already have. <laughs> I hope, maybe it's not. The, the site must be kept safe from the Demon King and his followers. It was therefore raised high into the skies. The tremendous power of the sages accomplished this feat long ago. That is the story of the Great Sky Island. And we get the Zonai fabric, tough fabric bearing a Zonai design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. The sages who raised this land into the sky directed me to give this token to the one who heard my story. It is now yours. So there we go, we have completed the legend of the sky island. So cool. You lit all the bonfires and returned to the steward construct. In return, the construct told you how the Temple of Time and Great Sky Island, once a part of the surface, came to float in the sky as, so as to remain protected. It also presented you with a fabric adorned with the Zonai crest. You wanna hear the story again? Maybe another time. We have brought you into our confidence. Please take good care of the token I have given you for completing the ceremony. So there we go. I don't think there's really much more for us to do here on the Sky Islands. For the time being, maybe we'll return here at some point with, you know, more abilities or more or something. Who knows? For right now though, you know, I'm a little sort of caught up 
with a lot of the main quests. I think the main thing besides finding Princess Zelda is the mystery in the depths, which I don't know if we'll hop into straight away today. Maybe we will, because it is definitely something I need to catch up with. But I do want to go back and at least return to Pura to see what she's going to say. I'm really curious about that now that we have the Master Sword. Okay, we have returned to Lookout Landing and Pura is chilling out over here. I wanna do, I want to, of course, also change back to some more of my normal gear and talk to Zelda, or not Zelda, Pura. Mm -hmm. Linky, welcome back. Hang on, that looks an awful lot like, what? is that the Master Sword? Indeed it is, what? good eye. And it was found on the head of a white dragon of all places? That's hard to believe, however, this was Princess Zelda's wish, one she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through. For us. Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, <laughs> you really don't look quite yourself unless you've got the Master Sword at your side. Check it. Now then, it seems you've, you have all you need. You're prepared to face our enemy. Hmm. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. It seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. I can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean, huh? that's it, the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability that he's in the depths? Ah. Do what you think is best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Jasha for any info she may have. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help out. Yeah. Link, the rest is up to you. And that also starts a new main quest, destroy Ganondorf. Wind, fire, water, lightning, and spirit. The five sages have awakened and entrusted you with their power. You still don't know where the Demon King Ganondorf is, but Pura says she suspects the depths. If you work with Jasha, who has been investigating the depths, you might gain a lead. So it seems pretty topical then to focus on a mystery in the depths, a quest we've had going on since basically the beginning of the game. Jasha pieced together a large mural from fragments to complete a picture that might show a series of statues in the depths. Each one looks toward the next until the last gazes at a temple-like building. That's the focal point of the mural. Jasha thinks this place may be a real, be real and hold a special Zonai power. So I think this is what we should focus on today. I hope. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll go and talk to, to Joshua really quickly and see for ourselves if that's the best thing to be up to at the moment. Hi, Joshua. We can finally investigate. Uh -huh. So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series, until it ends the, with that last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Uh -huh. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of the stone statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Well, seeing that we have a lot of spare time today, I think that's exactly what we'll go and try to find out. So let's get started with a mystery in the depths. So we've made our way back into the depths. This is an area we've explored pretty extensively before, but haven't fully cleared out this one section yet. I think that's definitely something I want to focus on is at least, you know, the Hyrule depths. I want to try to get all the light routes here, but I know that there's at least one of the statues somewhere around here. When we first explored it all that time ago, we saw it. So I'm hoping that we can discover that again at some point throughout here. Of course, you know, we, we did that way at the beginning of the game and it was off in this direction, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe this one, the Nikayum Shrine or Light Root. I just need to find my way around a little bit and hopefully we'll be able to find one of the statues and just sort of look our way through. We gotta be able to find one of those statues somewhere. 
Okay, so we're at the uh, Iaeusis light route, and you can see one of the statues. And it's really just about where they're pointed, it seems. So we'll try to run through this whole area and see what we can find. It's just sort of, I guess, yeah, in this direction, there's already another one. So I'll keep running through these as much as I possibly can until we find what we're after. Maybe it won't take too long. Maybe we'll stumble, stumble upon it pretty quickly. But I don't know if any of these will try to point us in the wrong direction, so I need to be very careful to just go at them one at a time. If I try to skip a few, maybe we'll just run off in a totally random direction. Who knows? So the next statue is off this way, and you can see it sort of just points over there. You can see the statues it's pointing at. So I'm hoping it won't be too challenging. We're already over 400 po as well. I need to exchange those for more gear soon. And ooh, I see this. Also, we haven't really used the Master Sword for fighting just yet. I definitely want to do that soon. Um, but for now, oh, I have two of these? When did I get two? I don't remember having two. <laughs> I guess I have two of them. Um, but I'll use this one. Got some big mean enemies over here, which I wouldn't mind fighting, like I said, so we can make the most of our Master Sword. It looks like there are a lot of red Bokoblins though, so maybe not that hard to fight. There we go, okay, cool. This one's silver, so gotcha. Nice, this is a lot of fun. Gotcha. I gotta be careful because I don't have a ton of arrows, but we do have with the Master Sword the bone thing, or maybe I already broke it because I hit that one rock. Yeah, it's really hard to tell if this is, whoa. Whoa, okay, that was cool. That was very scary as well, but we got you. This is gonna slice you down a little bit. The Master Sword is so nice to have for this because I don't have to really worry about durability. I mean, eventually it does run out of energy. Ow, for a bit, but we have a little bit until then. Um, okay, grab some more Zonite. A bunch of monster parts over here too. This guy is really trying to take me out. Um, where'd you go? I don't know where, the, okay, they're over on that other side. So I'll switch over to the Stone Talus Hammer just so I can get some more of these. Just like that. Bunch more Zonite is always nice. And I see you over there. I'm gonna get you. Ow, okay. <laughs> Not good, try that again. We're actually, our friend's gonna get you. Awesome. So there's that done. And boom. Get a bunch more arrows out of that box. Not so bad. Okay, picking up all that. We got 30 Zonite, or a large Zonite in total. I'll definitely have to spend that stuff soon. But now that we've gotten all this broken, I just need to start following the statues again. We're on the right path. A sooner or later, we'll get there. Okay, so it goes along this one light route. And I can only imagine it's gonna lead somewhere we haven't been yet, because I don't think I've seen this supposed temple. But I don't know if it's gonna be like a full temple as we have with the other, the other sages and stuff, you know? That's why I get really curious. I'd thought when Minoru was first being brought up, being this extra sage, that that would be our next big thing. But it, it didn't really end up being that way. I mean, it was a temple at a different part of the depths, but not quite this quest. So that's what had gotten me really confused. I'm gonna pick up all these too. Boy, a lot of po. There's definitely gonna have to be some new gear to find. Have we gotten that one light route? We have, yeah, the net and net. So, good to know. I would really like to clear out this area, and oh, you're back, huh? We got this big guy, the frocks. I wouldn't mind fighting them again. If we could get some new gear out of it, that's always nice, or new uh, materials that we can use for our gear. So, you know what? Oh, wow, it gives me a little star to show that I've defeated it. Does it do that for the other bosses? I don't know, whoa, okay, don't eat me, don't eat me, wait, okay, ah, get me out of there, that's not what I wanted, oh, we're getting chewed up, <laughs> ew, not what I wanted at all. This is not good, let me switch back to the Master Sword, and then try to just get you in the eyeball if I can, there we go, and now that you've fallen over, here's our chance to just really swing on you, but it doesn't do much, not from you over here, so I probably need to, ooh, get on top, get on top, get on top, come on and then just swing at you like crazy with the stone talus hammer. If I can break these things, that definitely does make a difference. Okay, you know what? I know you're about to jump up here too. We have the triple shot, so we can triple our bombs, which might be a good idea right now. So, boom! This is always the best thing to do. It's so satisfying. Ready? Boom, boom, boom. One more time, one more time. There we go, I love doing that. So if I could just, don't land in its mouth! <laughs> Okay, come on, no, no, wait. Oh, not quite ready for that one. We're in trouble. Oh no, oh no, don't eat me again. Wait, 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 toss this in. Okay, 
That was gonna give you a dummy ache. Right? Uh, oh, it took a second, but it definitely works. Okay, I'm gonna start, no, 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 come on. Get up there, what are you doing? So silly, so silly. Wasted so much time with that. Come on, I broke that one, and then I know you're about to throw me up in the air. Here we go. Well, let's just go for it again. I can always find more bomb arrows down this way anyways. One more time, should do the trick. Got it. Excellent stuff there. We defeated a frox again. Cool. So I wonder what that means, that it shows that it's defeated. Like that no other enemy has really shown that. So does that mean that maybe I do have to like defeat every depths creature at some point or something? Okay, well that was cool to do, but I've sort of lost track of the statues. There was one over there and a bunch more of these, so I'll grab these. I mean, it was good that we fought them because they were definitely gonna try to fight us. And right over here, you can see it's pointing off in uh, this direction. So this is where we're going into the darkness a little bit more. We haven't charted this territory. So now, let's not throw a bomb, but we'll throw a light root. Just to get a better idea of what's going on around here, we also have some more zonite. Let's see, where exactly, it, it's pointing over this way. So, okay, I see another one right over there. I'll keep following these as much as I can. Grab a bunch more Poe. If we could get out of here with over 500, that'd be really nice. That would definitely help us get some new gear. But it looks like this is where we could build something for after that, which might be a good idea. Yeah, tossing that over there. Ooh, there's another statue. Also get another puff shroom. Yep, I could build something. I always feel like I wanna travel just normally though. Just for the sake of it. Okay, got this little creature over here. And they're gonna try to attack me with your tongue or whatever, or just jump at me. I think they stick their tongues out as an attack. Maybe I'm getting that mixed up. Get a little bit more zonite from it. And we're heading this way. Oh, there's another one of these spooky statues. Okay, so we'll get that. See if it drops anything new for us. Uh, Traveler sword. So not quite. Obviously it's gonna be better than this. So I might as well take it. And of course it's not affected by the uh, the corruption or whatever, so that's always good. Is that a light root over there? It's not. I don't know what that is. Could that be where we're trying to get to? Maybe. Could be something else entirely, but right now the statues are continually pointing us this direction. Oh yeah, now it's pointing us over there, so that might be it. Whoa. It's taking us with quite the turn here. Do I wanna deal with all this? Do I really need it? I don't know, I don't know. Looks like they're trying to spot me. I'm going to leave it for now. Cause it wants me to go, yep, in this direction. So I'm very curious to see what we'll find up here. I might do a triple shot with these just to see if we can't really light that area up. Is this it? Wait, that's the Yiga clan sign. Are they down here? Whoa, this is weird. No, it's gonna point me off in that direction, but now I'm really curious of what's the deal with this. Uh, Yeah, this is definitely signs of the Yiga clan. They might be around, I gotta be really careful. Can't believe we didn't run into this before. Okay, just just a monster. Just a monster we can handle pretty easily, right? Get rid of you like that. So yeah, I could combine this with the, with the arm. No, why not, there we go. Cool. What's the deal with this then? Tatter notebook. According to Ko, this location will be destroyed. Glory of Master Koga. Master Koga! So this area is to be destroyed. I guess Master Koga is still around and had them explore the depths. Whoa. I wonder if there's anything atop of all this? Interesting. So maybe we'll be able to find more of the Yiga clan around here. And with it, Maybe we'll run into Master Koga again. That'd be interesting. Anyways, the statue is right here and pointing us off in this direction. There is another light route way over there. Just wanna do that for now because look at this, we found another statue. Just gotta continually follow these. And I'm sure sooner or later, we'll get to something. I might want to once again fire this off. 
Oh, did they spot me? I'm pretty sure they did. They'll definitely spot me now because it's a lot more visible. We got to the Grove of Time here in Central Hyrule. These guys are fast. Uh, I didn't hit them in the head at all. Oh gosh, I'm a little scared. I will switch over to you guys if I can. Ow, there we go. The one hit takedowns on those guys is nice. Okay, boom. I got you pretty good with that. I'm switching to the Master Sword. Oh, it's two of them. I didn't even realize I was hitting two at once there. Uh, come on. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared because there's two guys attacking me once at the moment. Come on, I'm doing some pretty good damage to you, but they are returning the favor a little bit. Our Master Sword is running low on energy. Here's our chance to defeat you though. Come on, swing, 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 and it broke. Okay. Let's switch to our Topaz Rod, and if I could just electrocute the both of them, that'd be fantastic. Make them drop their weapons, switch over to something else. I do need to change up some weapons here for sure, but I have the Soldier 4 Blade that should be used to just defeat you really fast, right? Come on, jump, slam, that's it. Okay, we have another one over here. Let's be ready for you. I will switch over to the Captain for a Spear. That was pretty good. You, get out of here. <laughs> and then back to you. Ooh, be careful. Luckily, uh, our friend's helping us out quite a lot there. This thing is badly damaged, so you know what? Let's just finish you off like that. That didn't do as much as I was hoping, but it's something. Um, let's keep it moving. Back to this, ooh, come on. Gotcha, right? There we go, much better. Now there's still more enemies to find and fight, but we're gonna get the throwing spear there and then pick up all this stuff. Plenty of other goodies to find, including the other Silver Lazafo stuff. Okay, very good stuff. Gonna pick up all of these. Okay, excuse me. Um, and was there any more over here? There's at least a little bit more Poe, another statue to follow. Lots of stuff still. So, you know, one thing I wanna do, I need to figure out my weapons a little bit. This sword is going to take 10 minutes to restore, which is sort of a pain. I want to destroy that fused material. Same thing up here, destroy that one. And just make sure with the weapons that we have here, they're being fused appropriately. So if we go by attack power, whatever I might have multiples of, um, of course I have the Captain 4 construct, which I think I don't have the, yeah, I dropped the one thing, so I guess I won't do that. Uh, but I have these two Silver Lizalfos horns and the Silver Boss Book of One Horn. So if I drop all of those, and the first things first is I'll fuse that, giving us 52 damage in total with that one. The Gloom Spear can get a combo as well. Definitely make sure we get that done, because that just makes it so, so powerful. Neural Wooden Stick can take the uh, Silver Boss Book of One one. Now we got some powerful stuff, but we can still combine more. We have this gnarled wooden stick here. Let's use, I mean, if it's the most damaging thing, yeah, let's go ahead and do another one. I do think we have another silver enemy right up there too, so there's quite a lot to do. Uh, oh yeah, and also the Royal Guard Spear. Mm, actually, there we go. And then once again, over this way, drop another. and we'll go with this. Cool, so we have some pretty powerful weapons now and some more enemies to fight over this way, so. Okay, actually not what I wanted to do. Whoops. I think that's a silver one, maybe it's not. Okay, it definitely is not. Uh, we'll do that again, right there, just to feature you really quickly, and then get back to uh, breaking some stuff around here. I definitely need to be a little bit more conservative with our arrows for a bit, because I've used up a lot of them lately. There's so much over here, whoa. So definitely worth it to get rid of all that. We get the Sundalion, cool. Okay, I'm slamming down here. A lot of you did let me know. What was that? I think it destroyed something. Um, that if I hop onto our robot front, they can break it open too. So I'll try to do that soon. Maybe a little bit cramped for them over here. But they can just break it with their arms, so it might just be a more efficient way to destroy things. But since I have this one hammer in our inventory already, I might as well use this. Gotcha. Getting so much Zonite from this. Really useful for sure. So, another bundle of arrows too. Maybe I'll get even more. Just the one, okay. But I will definitely break that open. Let's make sure it doesn't stay on fire. And what was up here? Anything extra? I mean, we have the one treasure chest. I'm doubtful there's gonna be too much more. Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, where are these statues pointing off to? I sort of wanna run over to the light route, but maybe something I'll just save for some other time. I also just need to keep going this way. There's so much to do here. I'll get another bomb flower for sure though. That's a really nice thing to have. Focus on firing off more of these. And that really lights things up. I guess it does more as three than it would one. Of course, I thought it wouldn't really stack that way, but 
Grab a model butt over this fight, and I hear some other little enemies. <laughs> okay, you got it, good job. I'll go ahead and pick up whatever it dropped though. And it's definitely pointing me off to here. Is this it? It might just be. So let's make sure that we do that. Our, unfortunately, our forest dweller's bow is badly damaged, so we won't have this triple shot for much longer, but there is another one. Um, another a statue, that is. What do we have here? The soldier's spear, which is that better than this? It is, so I'm gonna give this a toss. Oh, okay. <laughs> and use that up a little bit. A couple more Poe over this way. Got it. And I guess we'll fight these guys. I'll switch the bow for right now. I mean, actually, once again, maybe I shouldn't even be really using that stuff. I don't have to. Here, hold on, let's go bowling. Boom, there we go. That gets rid of one of them pretty easily, so happy about that. I would like to squish your armor. There we go, armor squish. Let's switch over to the Silver Lysel Reaper and just try to hit you as much as I can. Knock you around a little bit. Whoa. Not appreciating that too much, are ya? I would like to also switch over to the Topaz Rod. If I can get you to drop some of your stuff, that's probably a good idea. Then we can go back to this Boko Axe. Really damage you down. Running over, giving you a good slam. Don't you dare get over to any of this stuff. I don't really need this Forest Dweller Shield. I will drop that. Get a good exchange there, and then definitely pick up all the silver stuff. Very nice. Okay, I see you over here. Just wanna knock you down. I'm gonna give you one slice. That's all we needed. Okay, so I think that's all the enemies for this little region. And I guess, try out some of this stuff. Boom, so nice, and then down this way. Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. Just one, or no, actually there's a couple of arrows in there. Okay, so if I tried to hop on top of you right now. Yeah, that does break it, so, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh, run, run, run. Uh, <laughs> run away. I think we're okay, I think we're okay. Cool though, very cool. And that did break some more of it open, so I might as well grab some of it. Okay, I think we're good to skedaddle from this area then. We did pretty good there, but is this the temple that we've been looking for? I mean, it definitely seems like it. the statues are pointing in this direction. We got a giant um, Po over here, which of course gives us 20 in total, the grand Po. Always very cool to see that. And this is the great abandoned central mine. Whoa. Why does this look like a battlefield? Are we about to fight someone? Because the weird thing is that we have found this other light route previously. So, I guess really, this isn't the newest territory? I don't know. That's where I'm a little confused. The statue pointed us in this direction for sure. But there might be more to discover. Maybe this isn't the end of it, or maybe it is. And it'd be really crazy if we were this close the whole time and I just ran off in the other direction. But I think that's exactly what happened. Oh, hey, there's somebody here. Hello. Ah, I didn't think we'd see anybody else down here. Though I imagine you could say the same to us, huh? Ah. Oh. Uh, you're here to investigate too, right? You know, since you took the, or I mean the survey team interview. Because we definitely took that interview too. That's why we're here. Yep. Okay, now I'm very very suspicious of you. Oh, uh, take a look at this. Our latest discovery nearly knocked us off our feet. We found this weird device with these wavering green letters on it and this strange statue. We think it's one of those living stone constructs. Pretty sure it's supposed to move too. Well, I say that, but it's all just conjecture on my part. Uh... Truth is, we're in a bit of a panic here. If we don't figure out how this thing works soon, well, we're going to be in big trouble. Well, maybe that's where I can help because I can just do this. Whoa. Whoa, that's doing something. Authorizer verified. It's it's moving. Conferring auto build to authorizer now. Auto build? Please utilize it as you explore and excavate the depths for Zonite. Uh, sure. Whoa. So wait, this is a new power. Oh man, this is awesome. 
So we'll be able to auto build things? Whoa. So maybe I'm a little late to this one, but we finally get ourselves a new ability. The auto build. And that definitely has to be the last one. Instantly recreate your Ultra Hand projects using nearby items in Zonite. Auto build records your previous creations. That sounds useful. Did I see what I thought I saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? That's incredible. C could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the text has to say. Hold on. Um, This ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Ah. I just, I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke and we've been struggling to put them back together again. Huh, yeah, right oh. down that way. The one on the ground pedestal lost a wheel. Ah. And the one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back onto the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second in no time flat. <laughs> so come on, let's see it in action. Fix them up quick. You can start by repairing the one on the round pedestal. Interesting. Link, I have something else to give you. Huh? Hang on just a minute. Are you gonna fix our vehicles for us or not? Okay, don't be pushy. And isn't one special power enough? How greedy can you be? That's so unfair. <clears throat> Excuse me, I lost my composure there. We are really in a bind, you know. Could you please use your power so we can go home? Sure. <laughs> use your new power to fix our vehicles. If you need more details, go ask her. Oh. Please, use your power to fix our vehicles. Power? Mm -hmm. The text claims that the power can reproduce anything you've built, and that would mean you could fix your vehicles in the blink of an eye. Interesting. Well, they definitely seem a bit odd. I think there might be something up with that. But for right now, let's just do what they say and fix up this vehicle just like that. How do you like that one? <laughs> wow, look at that. That wheel's right back on there, snug as a bug. Now it's time for the main event, the one in pieces on the square pedestal. <laughs> Use that new power of yours and fix it up lickety split. So how exactly to do that? Things you make are stored in the auto build's history and can be easily recreated from there. So I go here, I go to auto build, and whoa, history, right here. And then I just, I guess I have to provide all the materials. Whoa, that is so cool. I can't believe I've waited this long to do this. Whoa, it's like I'm seeing double. Built in less than no, uh, less than no time flat too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, ancient power. The texts were right after all. I'll say, that power's incredible. Oh, master! Uh-oh. Well, look at that. The legends were true. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's Master Koga! Great work, both of you. You too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Do you not remember us? Yes, credit where credit is. There's one fellow I'll never forget. It's the man who cast me from my Gerudo Desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. Uh-oh. We meet again at last. And don't try to tell me you've forgotten me. We are bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name and tremble in fear. I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the depths defying, from the ashes rising. Master Koga. Master Koga, leader of the Yiga clan. I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power we've sought for so long. The highlight of all the musty old texts we found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and can instantly reproduce them. A long lost ability from the distant past. So you, you, you're cheating! Oh no, here we are working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand! And you can just whip them up in an instant! That's not fair! You know who could have used that power? The one we worship and revere, the Magnificent One! If we offered it to him, he would have crushed you and Zelda both! 
but you just walked right up and snatched it away. Now I'm going to snatch it back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. It looks like you don't have any time or any problem crafting in no time. Prepare yourself. Oh no. Master Koga is battling us. Oh, this thing is so funny. Okay, ooh, got a good shot there right away though. Let's run up and deal with you. Uh, where did you go? Oh, here you are. Um, I'm gonna hit you with everything I got here. We got the Silver Lysel Spear, and it looks like you take damage pretty well. There we go, everybody attack. Go, go, go. Whoa. Where'd you go? Uh, oh no, here you are with round two. Oh, I got you a little bit, but not quite enough. Let's switch to a stronger bow, something like this royal bow over here. Oh no, oh no, where'd you go? It really does not seem like he has an issue building. Oh, hey, you get back here. Whoa, he's got a shield! Ow, I just, he run me over! Oh, not good. Come on, here's a chance, here's a chance. I'm just gonna get up here and swing, swing, swing. We almost got you already. Boom! That was so crazy. Should I have taken a picture? Uh, maybe I should have taken a picture. Ooh, doesn't look so good. Ugh, you pesky little pest. Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, fine. I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart, but I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. I saw your little trick there. You used your right hand to get the co that construct going. I'll grab that power you cheated me out of for myself off at the Southwestern abandoned mine. Then the Magnificent One and I will guide this world to its miserable end. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Oh my, whoa. Uh, well, goodbye. So don't follow me. <laughs> goodbye. What a silly person. Uh, but I guess we'll have to catch up with them at some point and battle them again. Well, we get a treasure chest though. A master Koga of the Yiga clan side adventure began. A mystery in the depths also updated. So let's see what, what's really going on here. Just as Joseph, Joshua thought, when you went where each statue was looking in the depths, you found your way to a temple-like building. There, you acquired the Zonai ability Auto Build. Report your discovery to Joshua at Lookout Landing. I definitely will. And in the meantime, down this way, we have Master Koga of the Yiga Clan. You run in the Master Koga, head of the Yiga Clan, in the Great Abandoned Central Mine in the depths. He's dead set on getting his hands on the power of the Zonai and bringing about the end of the world with the Magnificent One. Could this have some, something to do with Zelda's disappearance? Master Koga's next stop is the Southwestern Abandoned Mine, which... I suppose we haven't found yet. We'll have to look around for Master Koga later here for this you know, whole quest. That sounds pretty fun. But in the meantime, I'm opening this up. We'll see what we get inside of this chest for defeating him. A huge crystallized charge. That is nice. We're over 100 and we can upgrade our battery. A complete, a complete crystal made by condensing Zonite charges processed from Zonite, equal to 100 normal, normal crystallized charges. And we also got Master Koga's profile added. We'll read that in a moment. Excuse me. What's up? Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mine to the Southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago, like this one, or was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them to reach that destination. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There is something I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Interesting. So an update here, you faced Master Koga, head of the Yuka clan in the Great Abandoned Central Mine. He plans to use the powers of the Zarnay to end the world with the Magnificent One. Could they, they be involved with Zelda's disappearance? Koga went on, went to the, the abandoned Gerudo mine. You can go there by following the nearby statues, or nearby series of statues through the depths. Okay. So I'll definitely be doing that at some point. It looks like they wanted me to start from way over there. But uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll talk to you. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid detection. There is another reason that is good, that is, it is good that you have come. I see that you have the ability to auto build. That means this schema stone, schema stone, I carry is for you. Schema stone, schema, I don't know. 
These stone slabs depict schematics. So schema, schematic, got it. Schematics of things such as Zonai vehicles. Autobuilds saves the schematics and builds it on command. Whoa. So now we have a fan plane. So these things are now gonna be easier to put together. The new design has been registered with auto build. You should now be able to auto build an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test this schema stone. Very cool. And where will that be? Right here. Schema stones can help you to build things you've never before imagined. I hope that you find this one useful. So with all this stuff together, what do I do? Schema stones can help you build things you've never imagined. I have this one, okay, so nothing more. I'll just activate this and put this together. So I'll have to have all the stuff laid out. So it might not be good to do this with something that's like super complicated or to say, but there we go. So now I could activate this at any point in time to get the flying. Sort of, obviously I'd wanna get it set up a little bit differently. But I did notice over here, we have this thing. So, I guess I'll talk to you a little bit. Hi, I'm grateful for you to you for driving out the trespassers. I was processing zonite into other materials. It was necessary that I flee to avoid detection, but I'm at liberty now to trade zonite for processed materials. Sure. Um, zonite is processed by smelting in a furnace. It is thereby, um, convert into materials with useful properties. Okay, so I know about all that. I guess I should just buy some, see if any of them catch your interest. Whoa, you have a ton. So if I just wanna buy everything you got here, I'll take them all. All that are available. The 30 here will cost me 90 pieces of zonite. Sounds like a deal to me. So over here, we have some large crystals. These are gonna be a little bit more. I'll take them all. That will require 15, we have plenty enough. All that are available. The five here will cost you 15 pieces of large zonite. It's a deal. Awesome. That is all I have on hand. Well, that's great. So we got ourselves a lot more pieces there. I could also get some of these. They require some more zonite too, but do I really need these right now? I don't think I do. I have plenty of them. So that was very, very cool. I'm glad that we could get that figured out. And of course, there's more of the depths here I could explore, including a ladder up here, which makes me very curious to see what's up that way. Um, but besides this, I think for right now, contextually, it's gonna be good to just go back to Lookout Landing and catch up with Joshua, now that this quest will technically be completed. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything up here. A little bit weird that there was a ladder to it, but yeah, I'm not seeing much. Okay, that was very cool. I'm glad that we could get that done. We can come back to the Great Abandoned Central Mine anytime we need, so definitely we'll be doing that soon. But for right now, if we go to our adventure log and go back to our main quest, a mystery in the depth should be completed, or at least maybe we'll see the next step of it if it's not completed. Let's go talk, talk to Joshua at Lookout Landing. All right, we've returned back home. Our hearts are getting back to normal. And I guess we can talk to Joshua now. Hopefully that makes it so that Robbie can return to the lab. We can finally investigate. Swordsman, what is it? You look very pleased with yourself. C could it be? Yes, it could. Uh, uh, A-U-T-O build? With the ability to instantly replicate things you've built? And schema stones? Oh. So there really was a Zonai temple housing mysterious power down in the depths. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may, may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Mm. Ooh. Hmm. Not that. Nope. Not that either. Aha! Here we go. Here, swordsman. Whoa, we get ourselves another schema stone. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as stone vehicles. So let's see what this one's gonna be. Ooh, the hot air balloon. Very useful. The new design has been registered with auto build. Uh -huh. This is a schema stone for a balloon, right? So if you use this with auto build, you could replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. Yeah. That balloon over there belongs to goggles, but it's broken right now. Would you, do you think you might be able to fix it with auto build? Eep, so exciting. I want to see it in action pronto. So I'll, I'll go prepare really quick. Ooh, okay. okay. Swordsman, everything's ready. Please demonstrate how to auto build, how auto build replicates things. 
Okay, and we also get an update to a mystery in the depths. When you shared auto build with Jasha, she expressed that she wants to see the power in action. So he asked you to use auto build to repair the broken balloon at Lookout Landing. Will do. Auto build time. Oh. Show me the replication ability auto build that you can found that you found in the depths. You can use it to fix Goggles balloon. I'm so excited. All right, so we just walk over here. We go to auto build, and we use the new hot air balloon schema stone to put this together super duper easy and it's built in the blink of an eye i i i can't believe it you rebuilt the balloon in an instant this this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation G goggles hey. goggles oh. what are you yelling about joshua Inconceivable! My balloon, it's fixed. Huh. This must be the mysterious power of the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Oh. Thank you for making this a reality. Please, take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. All right, we get a large zonite. Uh -huh. I still haven't been able to figure out what that is, but judging from that light, it's gotta be zonite in origin. Since you can use Zonai powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows, I might just find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, Swordsman. Will do. So a mystery in the depths completed. I'm so glad. Um, yes? Did you need something, Swordsman? No way! Koga, the leader of the Yika clan, was there? Ooh, this is dangerous. Mm -hmm. I've gotta regain my composure. Okay, come this way. Ooh, so what's gonna happen now? Not quite sure. Yeah. So, you face Koga in the depths? Hmm, what's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom, kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has had it out for you and, the, and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we're looking to already, we can't just take our eyes off this threat. <laughs> Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. If you go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, do you know about the forest of time south of Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the ones used, you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere, too, and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead farther southwest, into the depths. Hmm. Where they go is anyone's guess, but... I bet there's a destination far beyond that building worth seeing. Oh. I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths, so be sure to stop by and check with me sometimes. Will do. So it looks like they have confirmed the same information we got, that there is a set of statues that will lead us all the way to the southwest where we might be able to run into Master Koga again, which is definitely something I wanna work on. But for right now, a mystery in the depths has been completed. With the help of AutoBuild, you fixed a broken balloon. Both Joshua and Robbie were impressed. The results of this investigation reaffirmed the importance of the depths to Joshua. She has asked you to let her know if you make any discoveries in the depths. And while I currently haven't really, I do want to talk to her again just because, as Pura said, maybe the Demon King Ganondorf is down there. And I want to see her feedback. I haven't received any new reports yet, so I still don't have anything new aside from what I told you about the statues that seem to lead southwest. What about them? Huh. You know the chasm in the forest at times south of Hyrule Field? Well, another series of statues were discovered at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the ones that we saw with the camera. Okay, this seems like all the same ability we, we heard before. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> at this point, the chasms and the statues are points of focus for the investigation. I'll continue gathering info about the depths. In the meantime, if you make any new discoveries, be sure to let me know, swordsman. <laughs> We gotta give it our all. My hope is that the investigation will give us a hint in the, in the search for Princess Zelda. So yes, not. Interesting. Oh, and Robbie's gone. Oh, Robbie's down there. Okay, so we'll talk to you in just a moment. A few more things I definitely need to do, um, including offering up pose. If we can get something new. 
oh, we can't, I already have this. So it looks like there's not anything new here, but hopefully soon they'll offer up something. Um, seek my brethren in the depths of this land. Maybe if I find more of their brethren. And I also wanted to see the character profile for Master Koga, leader of the Yiga clan. Head of the Yiga clan, an organization with a grudge against Hyrule. His grandiosity and inexplicable charisma inspire passionate loyalty. Originally thought to have been killed in battle with Link, he survived after falling into the depths of the world. Burning with ambition to join the Magnificent One and guide the world to its end, he has sent his acolytes to all corners of Hyrule. Interesting. So, definitely cool to see this little update, but we'll have to run into him again soon and probably battle him once more. But let's see what Robbie has to say. We must get to that lab. I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm. I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey you, listen up. Now that Joshua has solved the mystery of that slate, I can return to the per to the Purapad Laboratory in Hatena Village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Purapad, starting with that sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off in the southwest corner of Hyrule, on its far side is Hatena Village. Go a bit farther than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. All right, I'm going to head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hateno Village. Don't keep me waiting. Well, we've been there before, just not while Robbie was waiting for us. That'll be great to get started with, and that is Hateno Village Research Lab. Robbie says that he can equip your Purapad with a sensor that can detect specific things. He wants you to come to the Purapad Research Lab near Hateno Village. You'll find it at the edge of the East Nakluda region in Southeast Hyrule. There, he'll set up the sensor to detect shrines. That would be amazing, and I think that's probably what we'll focus on in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.